Welcome to the R video tutorial on testing normality in R. Okay, so many of the assumptions associated with statistics or statistical tests have some normality assumption associated with them, and you may want to verify this. Let's get started. All right, so what I'm going to do first is generate some data that I know is normally distributed. And I'm using the R norm function because I know it's going to give me 1,000 normal random variable samples from a normal distribution with a mean of 17 and a standard deviation of 3. Now, you might be tempted to just look at a histogram. And by looking at a histogram, you can get a picture of your data. And looking at this histogram, what do I see? I see that the data looks about normal. I might be a little worried. Maybe not. I don't know. But it looks relatively symmetric. But it's not perfectly symmetric. So I might be a little worried at times. But at the moment, I'm not that concerned about it. So what I would like to do is do a further assessment. So I can make another plot here, which is a QQ plot. And the QQ plot is useful because it plots the quantiles that are in the data against the theoretical quantiles from the distribution. So this gives me a picture as well, and I can go look at it. And what I'm hoping to see is all of the points long, lie along a 45 degree line. Now, I might actually want to put that line on here. So I can go back over to my code and use this QQ line code. Now here I've specified the color to be green, but you can make the color whatever color you like. All right, now I put a line on here that's a 45 degree line and it's in green. Now notice that all of the points seem to lie along this line, and that's an indication that we have reasonably normally distributed data. Now that's not a test though. It's only a picture that gives us some sense of how far we are away from normally distributed. We're going to do some tests now to see whether or not our data is normally distributed or not. Now, the first one we're going to be interested in is called the Shapiro-Wilkes test. Uh, in R, you use Shapiro.test and put in your data that you're interested in and then submit it. And notice over here, I have a Shapiro-Wilkes test, normality test and it gives me a p-value associated with that. p-value is 0.9576. So I would not reject the assumption of normality. Another test that people like to use is what's called the Anderson-Darling test. Now in this test, you're going to have to load a R library that has this test in it, and it's in the NOR test library. And I show you in another video how to load additional packages. So I'm going to load the library, and then I can do the Anderson-Darling test on this as well. And over here you see I get a very, very, very similar p-value to what I had before. I have a p-value of 0.947. So you can make your decisions on, on these p-values in here. I don't think anybody would say that you have a severe departure from normality. All right, so let's look at what happens if we generate some data that is not normally distributed. Let's see what that might look like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate some data from the F distribution because I know it's not normal. Here I have three numerator degrees of freedom and 27 denominator degrees of freedom. And I'm going to do a histogram of this. So I'll come down here and look at my histogram. And notice that this histogram does not look normally distributed. It's highly skewed to the right. OK, so I'm really not expecting this to be normally distributed because I know it's not normally distributed. So again, I'm going to put a QQ plot on here with a 45 degree line. Now notice that the plot here is not by any stretch of the imagination, a 45 degree line. And here's my little 45 degree line on here in green. And you can clearly see that the two do not match up. The points do not lie along that line. So again, I can look at this, but it's not a test. It's not a conclusion. 
if I want to run a statistical test, I'm going to be looking for a p-value. So I can run a Shapiro-Wilkes test. I get a p-value of much less than 0 0.00001. So I don't think anybody would claim that this data would be even remotely normally distributed. I can run the Anderson-Darling test on this as well. Now notice, you don't have to load the library every time. Uh, I just do that here to show you that it's in a library as a reminder. Once you've loaded the library, you have it available to you for your entire R session. All right, when I look at the Anderson-Darling normality test, I get exactly the same p-value as I did from the Shapiro-Wilkes. So this tells me that this data is not normally distributed. I would reject the null hypothesis of normality. This has been the R video tutorial on checking normality in R. If you have any other questions, please ask or watch the next video.